Hi, welcome to another studio vlog. Um, I'm quite pleased because it's not as warm today, which means I get to wear comfy cardigans. Yeah, so today I want to work on some more products for my shop. So I want to do some stickers and I was thinking of doing some tea stickers because I like tea. Um, and then I also want to do like some fruit people stickers. So I don't know if you watched the last studio vlog, but I did a pencil illustration of three women picking blueberries. And I thought it'd be nice to do like a sticker sheet of yeah different women like tiny and then with like some giant fruit because I thought that that would just look quite cute so I'm going to do some sketching on my iPad but first of all before I do that I've got a package to open and this is from April and um, I watch her YouTube channel which I will leave in the description and I saw that she'd opened up her Etsy shop and this actually came a couple of days ago, but I wanted to wait to actually open it on camera. I'll see if I can remember what I ordered. <laughs> I think I ordered some stickers. So I've got this nice little note. I think she's created this little like note paper thing. Because that looks like one of her illustrations. Oh, and April makes the stickers herself. She's got like one of those Quicket machine things. <gasps> Yay, exciting. So I have got some art supply stickers. That one feels quite like me, like the cup of tea with all the pencils and stuff. What's in here? Are these. Ooh. Oh I think I think this is my, my freebie sticker to kind of celebrate opening her shop. She designed these cute little dinosaurs having tea. And then I think she's given me a couple of extra things as well. <laughs> Got this purple turkey. <laughs> a little plant sticker in a teacup. That's very cute. And then, oh, I can't remember what this guy's called. It's like a sort of rare animal, isn't it? It begins with a P. I'll put it on the screen if I can <laughs> if I can work out what it's called. How cute are these? I love how colourful they are as well. Because these little watercolour faces. <laughs> I just thought these were really cute. And I got some plant pals as well. So here is everything that I got from April. I think I'm just gonna open up these plant pal stickers as well so you can see them all. Oh, we've got a straggler. <laughs> you get so many stickers in this pack. There's a cat sticker, cat pop <laughs> sticker. I think that one might be my favourite. Oh, there's also a fox one. That's quite cute. So, yeah, thank you very much, April. I will leave the link to her YouTube channel and also to her Etsy shop if you want to go and check out all her goodies. Yeah, so speaking of stickers, I'm going to design some stickers that I'm going to order. But yeah, I'm really enjoying making new things for my shop. And I've also ordered some pins. Um, so I thought that I would show you what I have ordered. Yeah, I've ordered three more pins, which should be here around this kind of beginning of August. So I have ordered, I don't know how these are going to come up. This is like the design that I've done. So, and I've only just ordered them. So I need to sort of see what the manufacturer says, if it's going to be like too complicated. Because obviously when you like shrink it down, I'm sort of thinking that is that detail going to be seen but yeah we'll, we will see yeah i thought it would be cute to have a little teacup with flowers in it like the illustration that i did before and i've also i'm doing this teapot as well which you might recognize this isn't like my sneaky teapot so the idea is that this will all be in gold and i want to have a cut out section i don't know if this these like 
uh, parts of the handle are gonna have to be made thicker or not. Fingers crossed the designs work. So yeah, that's two like kind of tea themed ones. And then I wanted to do a house pin as well. I don't know if you saw when I made clay pins, I came up with this like sleepy house and I thought it'd be really cute to make it as an enamel pin. <laughs> the word enamel is kind of hard to say. But yeah, I just thought I would show you those and hopefully in a couple of days I will get a message back with like the artwork. So maybe I can sort of tell you if there's many changes needed to be made for those. I think now I'm gonna have a go at making these stickers. But yeah, I wanna make some um, tiny people picking fruit, a bit like the blueberry illustration that I did in the last studio vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna get drawing some sort of rough kind of ideas and I will show you what I come up with. So I think I might actually reuse this illustration here but I might make the fruit a little bit bigger because the other sketches that I've done so far um, the fruit has been a little bit bigger so I might sort of play around with it a little bit. As you can see these roughs are quite rough at the moment I haven't sort of done like proper line arts for them but yeah I'm kind of happy with the poses so far I thought I would do a gooseberry girl, a raspberry girl, strawberry girl. Um, I was thinking of just maybe focusing on like berries. So, where should we put you? I'm gonna have to rejiggle everything around lots. Yeah, I might just make this berry a little bit bigger. I was also thinking like, for example, this person could be holding a stem with a few different berries on. So I was thinking maybe she could be holding like some black currants, something like this. I I still need to work on this, so I think I might keep going. And yeah, I will check back in with you in a little bit. I don't know how to fix this leg. <laughs> um, it doesn't look right, does it? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what it is. And I've drawn lots and lots of lines like over and over again. But I think the pose is cute. And I like her like hugging the strawberry. Yeah, this is the sort of still in the messy stage where I have to work out composition. It doesn't matter if it's not completely right. I just don't want it to, I don't, yeah. I want it to look like she's vaguely got some bones in her leg. It looks like, I think I need to make the foot smaller because it looks like she's wearing a boot at the moment. Tom has just been to the shops and he's picked up some goodies. I'm excited. All right, he's got these goo, gluten-free, vegan, like little cheesecake things. There's a lemon one and what flavor is this one? Salted caramel. Can't go wrong with salted caramel. And then I'm kind of scared but intrigued. I really wanted peanut butter <laughs> and I really wanted Marmite. And Tom has combined both of them and he's got me Marmite peanut butter. <laughs> Apparently they didn't have Marmite. I'm scared but intrigued. They didn't have Vegemite though, which they considered guessing, but they don't know if it's the same. I think it might be the same. But yeah, I will, I will try this. Did you just they stick just the camera to... lens in the cake? <laughs> it's not cake, it's and cheesecake. Gum? It's so good. No, that's not quite half. I think it's up. Maybe no, you have that bit too, then it's up. I, I think that's a, that's a small half. Okay, I'm gonna taste the Marmite <laughs> peanut butter. I actually quite like it. It tastes a little bit like, um, Reminds me of dried roasted peanuts. So it's kind of got like quite a sort of salty taste. But yeah, so it sort of tastes peanutty, but I don't know, like it's something like a little extra. 
I know you were all waiting for an update on the Marmite peanut butter. So yeah, I thought I'd just let you know my verdict. in without really thinking about what sort of colours I was using and um, and then I sort of thought I should probably pick a colour palette and I can't really decide if I want to have like a nice kind of like light bright sort of colour palette sort of like a spring or summer or if I want to go for like some darker colours because they're like berry type colours so I need to decide what colours? Oh, it's so hard. Also, it's really dark in here at the moment because it's been raining. Um, there's a nice rainbow outside now though, but it's still quite cloudy and gloomy. Good morning. I'm just assembling some of these Oh, that's not even on the screen, is it? Where is it? <laughs> I'm just assembling some of these little boxes, which I'm going to be sending out pins in. So, yeah, I unboxed these on the last studio vlog, which was all about, like, Etsy and the packaging I'm using. And I also kind of talked about kind of like my Etsy journey so far. Um, but anyway, I, I've got these little boxes and I'm just making them up. Some of them... Like they kind of fit together, but that's not really stained. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this tape just to make sure it's nice and secure. And this tape's really nice because it's brown. So it kind of like blends in with the package anyway. And also it is um, recyclable. So you don't need to take it off when you get it. You can just like leave it on and pop it in your recycling. And that bit's going to be covered in tissue paper anyway. There we go. Yeah, I've got a few more to make. Like I said, I've got some different packaging um, that I'm using. So for like, depending on what you buy, like different options for different orders and then I've got these like hardback sturdy envelopes um for if you're just ordering stickers a few different options that I'm trying out I'm trying to work out what the easiest and like kind of quickest way to making these boxes up at the moment I'm kind of a bit slow at them but I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to get into kind of like a rhythm Oh, that one, that one worked first time. Uh, I could speed this up and make it look like <laughs> I can do this really, really quickly. these on the envelope but I was um, thinking I might put them on the tissue paper instead. Does that look nice? So 
So I've had some of the designs back. So this is the one for the house. I just zoom it in a little bit so you can see. It looks like they haven't had to make any changes on this. So that's great. This is the um, the first set that I'm trying that, that has screen printing on. So as you can see, they've done the screen printing on its own. So you can see which bits are definitely being screen printed. And then this is the bit with the enamel. This is the house. They've got all the details, like the size, the metal, um, all the colours and everything. So yeah, this all looks great for me. I'm just gonna double check the colours to make sure they're definitely the ones that I want. And then I think I can approve this one. Okay, and here is the teapot one done as well. And again, that looks pretty close to how I had the illustration looks really cute actually and yes yeah, so you can see this is it just the enamel and then that's going to be screen printed oh i'm really excited oh interestingly as well this section here seems to still be the same thickness but i think they have added like a tiny little bit there and there so that's that seems good so that will be like kind of reinforced and they've got two pins on on the backs of this one but yeah i think i think that looks pretty good i'm wondering if i should keep this tiny blob there or if i should get rid of that but i think more or less that's pretty much okay so again i will check the colors and um yeah and then i think this one is more or less good to go so the other thing that's really interesting is they have this scale and as you can see at the scale that we've got here that's pretty much going to be about the size so yeah the pins they're going to be like roughly that big <laughs> so yeah that's quite good to kind of like visualize it and the teacup one has been done as well and I think this is actually going to look really nice. So I've actually gone for screen printing on all of these and yeah I was a little bit worried that like all the flowers and stuff wouldn't come out. But yeah I think, I think they're going to look really good. So I don't think I have any changes to make on this one so I'm just going to approve it. Oh I can't wait to see them. I think it will be yeah start of August till I can actually see them. And I will do the unboxing, obviously, um, when they arrive, but that won't be in this studio vlog. So, yeah, you just have to wait for the grand reveal with me. <laughs> so, it's Friday now, and yesterday I felt like I was getting really, like, distracted. And I ended up looking up lots of houseplants for some reason. I didn't even end up buying anything, because I was just, like, comparing prices on loads of different websites and that took a really long time <laughs> and I didn't even buy anything um but yeah I was doing that and then I ended up making a quiz for like the next family zoom that we're having and yeah I, just, I was just feeling a little bit distracted which I think is kind of all right to have a few days where you may be not so on task but I do find that I end up feeling a bit kind of rubbish if I don't get as much done as I wanted to especially if it's not even like I'm properly relaxing and having time off but it's just if I'm doing other little kind of tasks that I could have left till later or yeah anyway anyway here is how far we are up to I have actually decided on a colour palette so yeah I've gone for kind of berry <laughs> colours strangely enough because it's berry uh, people berry girls so yeah I should be able to finish this today also on the subject of like focus um, I'm gonna try and use the Pomodoro method of working today so I've got the forest app on my phone and I thought I would do I think the usual Pomodoro is like 25 minutes isn't it so I'm gonna do 25 minutes five minute break do that four times and then I'm gonna have maybe like a 20 minute break I thought like in those breaks I'll try and move around a little bit um, maybe like 
try and get a bit of housework done as well. Um, the only problem is I've realised I don't have anything with pockets um, today, so I'm just going to have to, when it's my break and I'm moving around, I'm going to have to move my phone around. But yeah, at the same time, it's okay, obviously. We're in a kind of crazy, like 2020 has been a crazy year, hasn't it? So if, if you're also in a position where you've feel like you've had a couple of distracted days or weeks it's okay but having said that i'm gonna try and get some stuff done today so i'm gonna put 25 minutes on and see how much i can get done done with the berry girls i'm gonna put them on the screen as well just in case this isn't kind of showing up but yeah i've more or less finished this so yeah i'm feeling a little bit more productive today um and i managed to get a few house bits done as well so feeling a little bit more on top of things i still need to obviously arrange these like to do a sticker sheet i need to do like a title and i kind of wanted to put yeah maybe some other things around it probably do like stars and stuff again but i think i'm gonna leave it here for now and end the studio vlog um maybe you'll see me finish this off in the next studio vlog and yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you're all having a wonderful day and a wonderful week i'm sending you lots of love and i will see you in the next video okay bye Thank you for coming I know that you're trying to do anything To make me smile